Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be unboxing and doing a brief review of the Xperia XA2 Ultra smartphone by Sony. This is not a paid or affiliated review. I purchased this with my own money and all my reviews on this channel is not uh, they're non affiliated and they only give you unbiased and honest opinion. So I've been using the my uh, OnePlus 2 for a while and uh, this phone still works. Uh, this is a pretty good phone. However, uh, I kind of got tired of using this and I thought it would be a nice idea to change and uh, this phone actually gives you a good value for your money. In Canada, it's about uh, five, six hundred dollars Canadian uh, for this phone uh, if you buy unlocked, and uh, it's uh, it's give you six inch screen. And if you buy similar phone from other manufacturers, then you're going to be paying a lot more money. So for that reason, I decided to go with this phone, and because it's uh, cheap and it gives me more value for my money now as I do the unboxing I'll go through some of the specs uh, Sony actually uh, markets this phone as a as the ultimate dual selfie camera smartphone uh, it has 6 inch display and uh, it has actually dual camera so once I unbox that I'll show you uh, that one and I'll uh, set aside my OnePlus 2 for now so here's the box it's nothing fancy just looks like a uh, basic box and actually they have some of the features uh, right here as well so which I'll just quickly show you for a little bit so 23 inch front camera 16 and 16 I'm sorry 23 megapixel front camera and 16 and 8 megapixel sorry I have I had it reversed 23 megapixel back camera uh, to take pictures and video 16 and 8 megapixel front camera for selfie and USB-C and the battery is 3580mAh and uh, the processor is Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 micro SD and this phone is 32GB uh, so let's uh, open this up and see what we have here So, okay, looks like I did need a knife, and there's another one here. Okay, so let's remove the cover and I can see the phone right away. And I'll take out the phone and leave it here and let's see what's uh, inside there should be some accessories okay so the packaging is very basic uh, it's not fancy or anything and uh, this is the plug for charger to charge uh, here's the USB connector so let's put it here and here's the manual or brochure so there's no need to go through those I'll put it aside here and here looks like a earphone a standard 3.5 connection uh, it's, it's a good thing that they provided uh, in the past I had many other phones they don't they never provide the earphone and uh, this is by Sony so this should be a good one up to the side here and then we have a USB-C cable uh, which is good too uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry micro USB uh, cable so right here and this looks like a standard USB okay so I'll set it aside here the box is empty there's nothing else 
So let's put here and concentrate on the phone. So it has a standard wrapper. Uh, let's take this out. I'll put it here. So here's the phone. The first impression is that uh, this is not nothing light. It's slightly heavy, but still it's not too uncomfortable. So this is, uh, you know, not a bad uh, weight. And it fits comfortably in my hand. But if you, for those who have small hands, then this camera might be a little bit too big. But it feels okay. Uh, let me just remove this. Uh, Thing here okay okay somehow looks like this is hard to remove okay I got it okay put it there okay so here are the two selfie camera their front facing selfie camera one is supposed to be a 16 megapixel and the other one is to be 8 megapixel so the 16 uh, megapixel actually is for low light images and 8 megapixel is for uh, group images where it will give you wide angle. So that's why there are two cameras on front and uh, in the back this is a 23 megapixel camera and this one actually has Exmor RS mobile sensor uh, which is supposed to be a good sensor developed by Sony. Uh, and uh, this one actually also records uh, 4k video so that's a good thing so the camera is supposed to be uh, good uh, I'll uh, attach some uh, sample pictures and videos once I finish the unboxing and you'll be able to see the how it uh, how they look and then the display is actually 6 inch so this one is uh, full HD it should give you a nice color and then let's take a look here this one is fingerprint sensor so my one on my one plus two I have it here on the down below uh, which I'll show you right here so this is my sensor here for one plus two but Sony put it on the back so it's right here so I'm gonna see which one you know makes more comfortable using it and the glass is Corning Gorilla Glass and uh, this looks aluminium so here this is it feels metal but it's not metal it's a high quality plastic polycarbonate or some sort of uh, nice plastic but it, it gives you that uh, expensive or high-end feeling okay so what we can do let's take a look here okay the one thing I noticed that there is almost no no basil on the left and right but somehow here you can see that uh, there's this much basil and uh, even here right here so here you're losing like you know this much and you're losing this much but on these two sides it's uh, the screen it comes close to the edge so on the bottom right here looks like this is the speaker and this is the USB-C and this looks like the mic for phone and on the top it looks like there's another mic so this should give you clear uh, voice when you talk to someone and this one is the audio jack a standard 3.5 ml and this is the power button this looks like the volume button and this is a dedicated camera button right here uh, so this is a good feature so you don't you can just turn on your camera without even turning on anything else when you need to take a picture and NFC compliant which is a good thing So, although it's a big phone, but you know, I don't, I don't feel any difference uh, hold, holding 
uh, comparing to my OnePlus 2 it feels still comfortable so what I'll do I'll just go through the specs very quickly so it has a dual selfie camera 16 megapixel which has optical image stabilization and uh, 8 megapixel for 120 degree super wide angle uh, so those are good for selfie or group selfie and then the main camera is 23 megapixel and the battery power is 3580mAh which should be pretty good 6 inch HD uh, screen and then the processor is Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 uh, which should be uh, fast and powerful and then the SIM card is Nano and uh, the RAM is 4 gig uh, and uh, this particular uh, piece has 32 gigabyte internal memory but it can be extended to 256 gigabyte if you insert micro SDXC card so the weight is 221 gram uh, which is not bad and the dimensions are 163 by 80 by 9.5 millimeter so that's all for now however I'm going to uh, give you show you some pictures and videos once I do them and then I'll attach to the video and if I find something interesting then I'll uh, talk to you again if not uh, that will be all thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly there will be more videos coming up thank you hello everyone this is Ahmed Dan I spent uh, about 24 hours with uh, this phone and uh, so far I have no complaints but uh, I would like to show you some uh, features uh, which I had difficulty finding them or figuring it out uh, so it would be helpful uh, for me to show so if uh, you, don't, you guys don't have to go through the same uh, problem or delay so the first thing uh, I'd like to show that uh, there's an option which uh, you can choose to make uh, the pictures and video overall the whole experience uh, better so it will give you vivid color and a better color than just the regular setting and you can go there by going to settings right here and then if you scroll down and then if you go to display which is right here and uh, click on it and then uh, you can uh, go here there should be an option of let's take a look here okay so if you click on here under quality and there is color gamut and contrast and white balance so if you click on the first option under quality and then you're seeing three different options so off means there's no image enhancement and there's the standard mode which is the uh, would show just regular uh, color and if you'd like to see super bright color uh, which is a uh, super vivid mode and this mode actually will maximize colors uh, for photos and videos and giving you surreal vibrant and super vivid images so I would choose this option and if I go back and then it would make the whole uh, pictures and videos and everything else much better and then there's uh, another feature I'd like to show you which is going to be uh, the Wi-Fi calling so if your network provider supports Wi-Fi calling uh, what it means that uh, it gives you the option to use Wi-Fi instead of your network to call and text uh, uses for example you can receive and send a call or receive and send text uh, via your regular phone number uh, how, without even network so this is not a, not an app or anything uh, I know there are apps which can do that you can install like you know apps from Google Play and uh, you can have your a separate phone number text uh, application but this is not an app so if your network provider supports this feature uh, Wi-Fi calling then you can do that and uh, what it means that let's say you have uh, you take this phone to let's say Hong Kong or South Africa or anywhere in the world and you will be able to use your uh, phone number and text to receive regular phone and uh, text uh, you don't need to roam or you don't need to buy a separate SIM card so this feature has to be supported uh, by your provider first and then the phone has to support it so this is one of the phones that support uh, supports that feature and uh, in order to do that you have to choose Wi-Fi calling 
However, uh, the problem is if you go to network, which is under settings, the first option, then here you're not going to see any option to choose Wi-Fi calling. So it's not here. So where could it be? So you can get that by going to the uh, phone app. So this is not a separate app. This is phone's own phone app, which is right here. So if you click on it, then it's giving you all the uh, phone number and uh, contacts and everything so if you just click right here it should give you settings and this settings is for the phone which is uh, provided by the phone app so if you click on the settings and then if you go to calls which is under sounds and vibration so if you choose calls here then you're going to see that there's going to be an option is Wi-Fi calling and if you choose that option then either you can turn it on or you can turn it off so if you turn it on uh, you'll have Wi-Fi calling on this phone so what it means that uh, let's say right now this is on and if someone calls you or text me on my regular phone number the phone is not using network anymore it's using Wi-Fi and as long as I'm within a Wi-Fi within a Wi-Fi range it will continue using Wi-Fi for all calls and texts and if you are out of Wi-Fi range then it will automatically switch back to network I like this feature because uh, I don't like actually using network at home due to uh, you know the chances of radiation so if you are using your uh, call and everything via Wi-Fi then you have uh, I feel more comfortable using that rather than uh, phone network so for that reason uh, and then there then there's if I travel with this phone then I can you know uh, use my number to make call and text anywhere in the world using this feature so that's why I like the Wi-Fi calling feature so that's the other thing I wanted to show you there's something else I'd like to show this phone supports 4k video so when you open the app for the camera and video which is the phone's default app and this is gonna be right here so let's click on that so now we have the app for the phone uh, for photo or for pictures and for video so if you right now it's set at uh, video I can put it back to picture so let's go to video again and let's say you want to do 4k video so if you go to settings and then if you click on it and if you choose video resolution then you'll see all the options but you'll not see the 4k option right here so you'll see for a full HD 30 frame per second 60 frame per second HD VGA MMS so you will see all these options but uh, there's no 4k option so does that mean this phone doesn't have 4k uh, because I've been you know uh, watch reading a Sony website and the provider website and it tells that it has 4k so what it is that it does have 4k but you're not gonna get that option from here so in order to go to that option if you see those six dots next to the video icon so if you click on that and then you're gonna see six separate options here and one of them is 4k so if you click on that so it's just asking for permission hello 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 okay uh, just give a warning that if your temperature rises then this application may close because 4k video uses lots of resources so we'll put ok and now you have 4k video so this is a little bit tricky it doesn't give you 4k option from the main screen so you have to come to this section to get 4k uh, video and uh, then you'll be able to record 4k from that selection so that's all I wanted to show you so what I'll do I'll uh, attach some video clips and pictures I took with this phone uh, today is a cloudy day so there's no sunshine but still you'll be able to see the picture quality and video quality uh, for video I actually used just regular uh, 1080 I didn't use 4k 
and for uh, I use the front and back both cameras uh, and I'll uh, mention on the screen which are uh, taken with the back uh, and front cameras so overall the whole experience uh, seems to be okay uh, I don't have anything anything to complain about uh, due to the fact that the phone cost almost half than other phones by other manufacturers which would give you same specs so so far I'm happy with the phone and if I something uh, other things to tell then I'll uh, produce separate videos in the future so that's all for now thank you for watching if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and uh, let's uh, enjoy the pictures and videos thank you